What's up guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, fog your race car so basically save your motor if you run alcohol or methanol or m5 or anything like that uh, the valves can actually get rust on them because it pulls the condensation out of the air and uh, same with the cylinder walls and everything so you actually use uh, fogging fluid so it's basically an oil that keeps everything lubed up over time and everything won't seize up on you so that way at least all your nice parts inside the mortar will actually stay nice all right guys so we're gonna show you what we use here so this is my h2b all-wheel drive car and uh, it's on a dart and dry sleeved uh, block and then a four piston head so it's got Farah 6000 valves in it and uh, all the good stuff. So basically what I use is fogging fluid. So what you do is you take the plugs out. So you can see I got my plugs out and you spray a little bit down. I'm by myself today. So normally I would have somebody spray it while I turn it over at the same time. And then same with down uh, the throttle body. So I sprayed a little bit in there, sprayed some, a little bit inside the, down the cylinders there. And uh, basically I'm, I found this battery. So we're going to use this battery, jump this thing, because I had my old Optima out of this. It was uh, no good after about 11 years. So I got to get a battery for next year, but we didn't have any racing this year because of the COVID and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm basically going to set you guys up and uh, turn this thing over real quick and basically get it all lubed up. I'll probably sp spray a little bit more in it and then do it again. And then this thing will be serviced for the winter. So I am actually pulling this all apart because I want to actually o-ring the block. So what that means, um, this is just a little D-series and this is an open deck mortar, but uh, I have closed deck in this. So it's, this is a closed deck dry sleeve block from Darton and uh, I didn't o-ring the sleeves. So what that means is you can use like 0.44 copper wire. So what you do, you machine a groove inside here and then you put the copper wire it's a tedious task but if you guys do it right uh, when the gasket seals and the head seals down you have an extra uh, layer of protection around the cylinder walls so that's what i want to do because i want to feed this thing probably as much boost as we can give it right on the 67 66 so um yeah i'm gonna set you guys up we're gonna turn this thing over get it prepped for winter because we're here in canada and it's really cold all right guys, so this is what we use. So engine store, basically fogging fluid. So I already sprayed some in. I just turned it over quick because the battery was giving me problems. So I tightened the ground up and uh, the power is good there. But you guys can see, I'm gonna respray it here in a sec, but we're just gonna turn it over quick. So I open the throttle body when I do it and my starter sticks sometimes so <laughs> Body up. 
that. Spray a little bit in here. Get the valves all done up. Not too worried about inside the intake. I'm gonna take this all apart here in the next couple weeks anyways. Just gonna get time after work to come down here. It's as simple as that. I'm gonna I'm gonna return it over again, and uh, that'll be good. I'll set the plugs back in it, just so nothing gets in it. No condensation. She's tight fitting here, boys. So we're gonna open the throttle body again. And third. Now we got this thing done. So um, I'm gonna clean this all up. This is all a bunch of blocks and cranks and oil pumps and just everything. I'm gonna make a nice spot and uh, I'll get the turbo kit off. So first thing I gotta do, pull the intercooler off. It's Mike and I made it really easy. So we just unbolt uh, the cooler and this side. I got new clamps too, guys. Um, so it's just four bolts, the cooler comes off. And then I'll show you the clamps I got. So I got this nine inch fan too, because for our custom radiator that you guys seen, a couple more relays, shut off switch. Um, so this, I got these. So these are good for like 55 PSI. So I got new clamps, right? New couplers. So I even got a spare one just in case we blow one. And yeah. So that's awesome and yeah next thing we'll do is like I said we'll pull that off we'll pull the radiator out of it and uh, I'll probably install the fan first just so I know where it's got to go and then uh, we'll take that all apart we'll get the turbo off the up pipe the wastegate pipe the wastegate itself and uh, we'll pull the manifold off it intake and then uh, pull the axles the drive shaft probably the fuel pump and then we'll pull the, the mortar out. I might even take the intake off before I pull the actual mortar out. And I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys along for that though, because uh, like I said, I want to O-ring the block. It's the only thing I didn't do. And there's probably only like 1100 kilometers on this build. So uh, it, it has seen M5 its whole life since I built it. So M5 and then it's used 91 octane because that's all we can get here in Canada to, uh, well, where I'm from anyways to basically clean the injectors out and the fuel system and the pumps and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so make sure you guys like, subscribe and share. And uh, that's how you service your built mortars or even your regular mortars, you know what I mean? If you don't wanna have any problems with it, um, the best thing you do is buy a $10 can of fog and fluid. And now I know that the cylinder walls are fine, uh, the valves are fine, the valve seats, guides everything piston rings it's all everything's all lubed up and good to go for the winter so it gets really cold here where i'm from it's like minus 35 in the winter sometimes and i don't have a heater in here so this girl that's why i fog it and basically service the engine and we'll go from there so with the all-wheel drive kit we're hoping to to maybe go a low nine or maybe even we'll do an eight second pass someday boys so uh yeah like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one.
I'd be leaving these on, so I figured before I leave, I'm out to put air in all the tires. So air in that side, air in this side, and I filled these up yesterday. So you guys can see the all-wheel drive stuff, right? It's all hard to see because it's dark here, but you can see this is my V2 kit. So it basically is. It's identical to Hub Cities, right? Same with the trailing arms. I made the made a nice jig for those, and uh, same idea on Honda inside uh, front hubs, so so we can stay four lug. Um, my regular tires that I have, that's why I said I was putting air in them. Uh, they're up here, so I got these brand new street tires, and those are on my old black rims. So if anybody knows the car, you've seen those before. But uh, all right, guys. Like I said, we'll see you on the next one.